see it from the roadside. Meet the people along the way and be able to have conversation. It's a really nice way to, to get to know a people and a country. The Contemporary Classics Tour is uh, an initiative where we will be traveling around the UK and Ireland um, and the Crown Dependency, so Man, Jersey, Guernsey, for 100 days. And during those 100 days, we um, will be showcasing, we'll be telling the stories of local artisans, of people who work with traditional techniques, um, but apply them in a very 21st century way. So they combine that heritage with modern design and modern preferences. Tradition shouldn't be something that's in a museum, but that's something that should be alive out there and accessible, not just preserved for future generations. We've partnered up with the Morgan Motor Company, who made it possible for us to do this road trip in a Morgan 4-4, which I'm really excited about. Um, because this is the longest running production vehicle in the world, but uh, it's still innovating. So the outside looks traditional, but then the inside is constantly being developed and innovated on, and, and it's just so great to be able to, to have this car to do the road trip with. Watch as the world falls away, here we are by him. Sunrise, the moon starts to wane, living and dying. And the oceans echo out their deep refrain. And the river answers, I'll make you whole again. It was early summer, about May or June, and I remember the first job that Tom got me to do was go down and check the cows in the field. And it was such a sight, you know, the, the sky was blue, um, you could see the Wicklow Hills in the distance, and the cows are munching on this lush green grass, and I've never seen such contented animals. Cheese is a combination of, uh, you know, food, uh, place and culture and community and it's bringing all these things together so a cheese that can be found in a local area um, is really special because it's unique to the area it's unique to the terroir and it's unique to the, the people that are making it so there's such a, a story and, and um, the, the culture that surrounds that is, is, um, is, is, is really something special. To be creating something that's uh, that's alive um, in terms of uh, a tradition and in terms of a food product that is uh, actually alive with, uh, with microbes. Um, but why the Kulat and Cheddar is also special to me is that um, I, I, I just believe in it. Um, in, in, in all my years traveling around Ireland, sampling cheese and tasting cheese, I've never tasted a cheese like it. And, um, and, and that goes back to, you know, number one, how the cows are treated. You know, they're the happiest cows in the world. They're, they're out on grass, um, you know, they're, they're out on the best of Irish green grass. And, um, and, and they're just treated very well. That gets reflected in the milk. And then the passion and the, the time and the care that, that Tom puts into making the cheese is just reflected in, in that end product. As I had full control of the product and full control of the process by making it, that I could make the best cheese in the world. To 
try to compete with the ubiquitous uh, cheese that you get in in little block, little square blocks in the, in the supermarket because it's not that's not the product and that's not what people are going to get when they get my cheese. They're going to get a, a flavour that they will notice immediately and, and last a long time in their mouth and, and um, they will remember it. We want to let the, let people know we're here and we're making this this beautiful product, but we also want to let them know the story behind it and know about the farm and the the people involved and, and the, the cows and the animals and the, the way the system works. Let them see the the sun shining on the fields and the grass growing and the cows eating that grass and turning it into milk and, and then us turning turning our milk into you know a valuable product.